Hello, my name is Kate Crowley. I'm on the faculty in the program of Communication Sciences and Disorders at Teachers College, Columbia University. I've created these video modules with my co-author, Georgia Duan. Welcome to Module 6 of Differential Diagnosis in Preschool Evaluations, a Case Study. In this module, we're going to look at the child's expressive language, gathering data about his narrative skills. Let's listen to Alex as he tells the story of his favorite book, Click, Clack, Boo. We're going to show this to kids, and they want to know what's a good story to read. So will you please tell them the story of Click, Clack, Boo? Okay, click, go ahead. Clack, boo. What's it about? Click, clack, boo. What happens to no, Farmer uh, Brown? Um, no, but we will walk on the porch. Yeah? And then, yeah. and then what happens? He found he finds he puts candy on the porch. Yeah. And then what happens? Walks the door. The farmer Brown locks the door. Oh, locks the door. Yeah. And then what happens? It's just the door. What? I see the doors. What happens next? Um, kick cow boy. Yeah, he locks the door. He locks the door. What does he do now? And he do put socks on. He puts socks on, he hides it under the blanket. Yeah. And what's happening outside in the barn? Why is he hiding under the blanket? What's going on? Um, he's in... sleeping. Farmer around sleeping? But what's happening in the barn? Mm -hmm. What's making click clack boo? And this tap tap tapping on the window. Yes, they're tap tap tapping on the window. Who's tap tap tapping? And Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown's tapping on his own window? Yeah. No, no, no. Who's tapping on the window? And Farmer Brown. Well, he at the end of the book he taps on the window oh. to go into the barn. But, but what's, what's happening, happening in the barn? In the barn? It, it's stuck in the barn. Who's in the barn? <laughs> A duck. A duck. A duck. And there's costume. And they're wearing costumes. They're wearing costumes. Yeah. Are they in in Halloween time? Yeah. And are they scaring each other? Yeah. What What is Farmer Brown? Just wait a minute. If I were Farmer Brown, I would not want to go to the barn. I would go away from the barn because I'd be scared. What does he do, Farmer yeah. Brown? He locked the door. He locked the door. He locks the door because he was scared. But then he comes out and taps on the door, on the window? Yeah. How come? How come on the window? Why is he tapping on the window? Because he's in the barn. The duck is in the barn. They're having a party in the barn. Right? There's a Halloween party in the barn. Really? Yeah. What are they doing at the party? Um, Alex had said that his dad reads Click Clack Boo to him every night before bed. We know this is a book he knows well and likes a lot. This would be a great way to get a narrative from him. Of course, we have to take into account he's still two years, ten months. In terms of topic, it was something he was interested in. Participant, I am there and infer that there will be another child listening to the story sometime later. Setting, obviously, it was a comfortable setting for him in his home, but it was not bedtime when he generally hears the story, and function. I increased the interest in the functional piece of the narrative by saying to him that I was recording him to play for a little child. It didn't really work that well. But it is a complex story, and he's only two years, ten months old. In terms of his narrative skills, though, I really wasn't concerned. When I asked him what happened, he told me, Farmer Brown put the candy on the porch, Farmer Brown locks the door. Farmer Brown puts his socks on. The poor intelligibility is really coming to the fore in his communication. A lot, of, a lot of what he is saying is difficult to understand. He looks to his mother to help him out, to help him be better understood. He has a metalinguistic understanding that it is difficult for him to be understood, and he relies on his mom to help him. Continuing with the story, Alex says he is tap, tap, tapping on the window. He tells me that 
the duck is in the born, barn and wears costumes. He tells me a lot with prompting, prompting, but it is still very difficult for me to understand, and Alex knows this. We see that he is realizing as we go that it is going to be hard for me to understand the story he is telling. It was a difficult situation for him, and he did the best he could. It's important to note that what was intelligible was still typical for a child who was two or ten months old. We get some nice language from him, but we don't have a full picture of his level of language skills at this point. We need to hear him more, hear him in more context, so we have him retell the story using the book and prompts. And what happens with the cat? A poor dog. Castle. What does a cow do? Put top, top, put your coat in the winter costume. The cows in the in the win, in the window with the costume. Yeah. Yeah. The cows go to the window to let the cats in. Farmer Brown. What? In not sounds like Halloween night. Yes, he does not like the sounds of Halloween night. He checks the locks on the doors. He peeks through the window. There was a dark creature standing beneath the trees. Farmer Brown runs to his room, pulls on his pajamas, and... Come to our covers. <laughs> he hears the... <laughs> of the crunch, crunch, crunch of the leafy footsteps heading toward the house. This is getting me a little scared, this creature. Yeah. He hears the... Creak, creak, creak on the old boards of the front porch. <gasps> he hears the... Tap, 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 push. Are you buying the way? The tap, tap. Thank you, Mommy. Tap, tap, tapping on the front door. Farmer Brown pulls his coveralls up tight. He hears the... Tap, tap on the tickies. Quack, quack. Wait a minute. Quack, quack, quackle? In the crisp night air? Come here. I'm scared. Crackle? Farmer Brown jumps out of bed. The porch is empty. The candy bowl is... Gone. There was a new note. Halloween party at the barn! Farmer Brown runs to the barn. Yeah. There is a creak, creak, creak on the old four bars of the front porch and a crunch, crunch, crunch on leafy footsteps heading towards the barn. Yeah. <laughs> there is a tap, tap, tapping on the window. <laughs> Wait a minute! That was the scary guy? That is a duck. That was the duck? Yeah. I thought it was a scary monster. That's why it is a duck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why it was a quack, quack, quackle? Yeah. You can see in this section when we have the click clack boo book is so much better and easier for him. He is much more relaxed and engaged. He gives me this great sentence about the cow in the window with the costume. And what about, how far, uh, what about Farmer Brown? He does not like the sounds of Halloween night. What's interesting is that Alex understands the funny part, the climax of it. This scary creature that's going into the barn is actually the duck. He didn't just focus on individual picture pieces, which shows he understood the main storyline. Farmer Brown was scared. He went to see the tap, tap, tapping, and he saw that the scary creature he was afraid of was really the duck. Even though the book was there to give context, he, un he understood the story at a high level and told it in a way that we could actually understand. In the evaluation, we write about his narrative skills emerging. We say that they are at least age appropriate and talk about the prompting with click clack boo. We write, Alex demonstrated emerging narrative skills that were at least age appropriate. With prompting, Alex told parts of the story of click clack boo, which is currently his favorite book. We have now heard Alex speak in different contexts words, sentence, and narratives, and have seen that his intelligibility problems continue to his, impact his ability to be understood. His intelligibility is better in, better in context, aided by the story retail using the book, which is to be expected. Now we have identified that intelligibility is the central problem for this child, but we still don't have the data telling us what's behind it. As we investigate the root of Alex's intelligibility problems, we'll take a look at his articulation 
in the next module.